young family, welcome back to our channel. This is Vinny. In this video, we're going to show you how to align mirrors on Nova Elite. Last time, we aligned mirrors on Mirror 9. You can check this video in case you need it. Basically, the logic of the alignment isn't changed. The biggest difference will be there are four mirrors on Nova. We got mirror 1, 2, 3, and mirror 4. And also, the location of the right pointer is not the same. It is right here next to the third mirror. And also, to align mirrors, we're going to need these tools. If you're doing this by yourself, I suggest to use this wireless remote. We need to go to Menu and Laser Set. And you can see there is Laser Mode and Laser Time. Set the mode as pause and about 70 for time so we get to observe a more accurate shot for later reference. Now let's get started. As always, we need to remove the excess panel. Generally speaking, we don't suggest you adjust the laser tube and the first mirror since we already aligned them perfectly at the factory. But due to the delivery and other issues, there might be some minor movement. You could fix that by aligning mirror 2 to mirror 3 and mirror 3 to mirror 4. So first things first, we will put some masking tape on this acrylic target and you can find that target file in our Facebook group. Attach it to mirror 2. You can run your finger across the top until it's even. Let's do our near shot. Then use the remote to move the gantry to the other side. Pause again. And that's our far shot. Alright then, let's take this target out and we can have a look. Well, clearly the far shot is too low. We need to move it to an upper place so they can overlap. In order to do any real adjustments, we will release these two brass lock knobs first. The top knob is in charge of up and down. Clockwise will move it down and counterclockwise will move it up. The bottom knob is for left and right adjustment. Clockwise if you need the beam go right and counterclockwise will move the beam to the left. After adjustments, we will do far shot again. Great, the second far shot is now overlap with the near shot so it is parallel here. Don't forget to tighten the lock knob back after adjustment and we can move on to the next mirror. Just like before, take another masking tape on the acrylic target and attach it to the fourth mirror. Use your finger to check the position again, we're good. Then use the remote to have a near and far shot. Take it out and have a look. The far shot is a bit right, so we need to move it to the left. Now we replace a new piece of tape on the target and place it back. Same as before, we need to unlock the knobs first. The top one adjusts left and right. Counterclockwise moves it to the left and clockwise will move it to the right. The bottom one is for up and down adjustments. Clockwise goes up and counterclockwise goes down. And we want it to move to the left so we counterclockwise the top knob. Then we can do near and far shot again to check if we still need any adjustments. Compares to the first test, now they look overlap to me so we can move on to the next step. And don't forget to lock the knob back after a final adjustment. Alright, before anything further, let's do four shots at all the corners and check if they can all overlap. Well, I think they're almost hitting exact same place and that's great. By the way, around 1 to 2 millimeter offset is acceptable here. Now time to align the red point with the beam path. Firstly, we pause and get a near shot. 
and you could observe the offset between the red point and the shot, right? To make them overlap, we could adjust these three screws by using an Allen key. Also, we need to make the red one overlap with the shot at the farthest position too. And we're good. After aligning the right point with laser, we will remove this lens cam first. And we can use a tape to stick it aside so we can pause without worrying about it. And we will adjust these two to make sure the red dot is at the center of the shot. Unlock the knobs as before. Top knob controls up and down. Counterclockwise will move it up and clockwise will move it down. Bottom knob is for left and right adjustment. Clockwise if you need to go left and counterclockwise if you need to go right. All right, now it's at the center, so let's put the lens cone back. There's one thing I do want to remind you, make sure it's still at the 10 mark position. And then we put a new tape on the nozzle. Pause and check if the shot is round enough. Apparently, this is an oval. Looks like there is some uh, left and right offset. Let's see what we can do about that. Just use these two knobs to adjust it. And stick another tape on it. Then we pause again. You can run several tests here until your shot is round enough. Just like this one. And also, we can do four shots at all the corners again to make sure the result is good enough at all places. And they do! Perfectly round. Okay guys, now we successfully finished the mirror alignment. Next time, we will cover how to make the laser shoot vertically on the bed. If you're interested, please like and follow us for the update. Thank you for watching. Bye!